Hi everyone, welcome back. So, hi everyone. This is me dealing with a case of stage fright, which is caused by stuttering and being camera shy. Despite this, I have been desperately trying to vlog my life, but to no avail. Every time I see a camera, I, for some reason, I just start freezing up. So what is the solution you ask to a very extreme form of perfectionism? It's simple. I'm going to be doing voice memos until further notice, and I will just be showing my work and what I normally do which is mostly being chronically online, and how I finally cracked the code into being organized using Notion. So let's do it. So let's start with the books I've read, which is one, because I'm not Spencer Reed, and it takes a long time for me to read books, so mind your business. And it is Show Your Work by Austin Kleon, and a YouTuber by the name of Ali Abdul recommended this book because he said that it really changed his life and made him not feel cringe about showing your work online. I think my favorite quote is, the impulse to keep to yourself what you have learned is not only shameful, it is destructive. Anything you do not give freely and abundantly becomes lost to you. You open your safe and find ashes. And what I really like like about this quote is that it's really important to share your work and share the steps that you take to get to where you want to be because the only way you got to where you are is because someone else reached out their hand took the initiative to give you advice does that make sense yeah so anyways let's get on to a court of thorn and roses so far it's a good book but i hate the main protagonist's sister her sister was such a bully and she was so annoying like the main character is the one that is getting food for their own survival but her sister is literally calling her stinky and like making fun of the way she smells and saying that she's like too masculine and it's like i was just confused the whole time reading the first like 50 pages of this book because the whole time in my brain i was like what's wrong with her sister and why was she treating her so bad all i know for sure is that i cannot stand and her sister. I will hate her sister till the end of time. I tried bullet journaling in September and it wasn't working out so I stumbled upon this YouTuber called Maisie and she mentions an app called Notion that lets you organize your entire life. So obviously I was really desperate because I have been constantly forgetting everything that I needed to do. So I spent almost like four hours sitting down watching a bunch of YouTube videos on how to use Notion and I finally set up my account and so far I'm really happy with what I've done. I'm also going to give a quick shout out to Maisie's art portfolio. She's a software engineer and a ux designer i'm a ux designer and i really love how she blends design with code my goal is to become a web designer period to be able to combine design with code the same way she does so it was really nice coming across her youtube channel and yeah i would definitely link her art portfolio in the description because i really thought it looked really cool there is a TikToker that made an app called To Be Read. I downloaded it immediately because this is exactly what I was looking for. I always forget what books I want to read, so having all of them listed down here is really helpful, especially when I'm going to the library or if I'm going to Barnes and Nobles. So yeah, I really like this app. I decided to really push myself this month to learn HTML and CSS and really get it over with because I really want to use this software called Webflow to create my website from. The reason is because I found a YouTuber called Charlie Mary who is also a UX designer and she uses Webflow as a CMS which is a content management system and she uses that for her blog. I really like what she's done with her website and I feel like I'll have a lot more creative control than using WordPress. So I bought this book called HTML html and css by john duckett like years ago and it's been collecting dust in my bookshelf so i picked it up brushed it off and i sat down and i tried to learn from start to finish and now i'm just mad at myself that i did not start learning how to code sooner my new project is to really learn css because i feel like i learned the basics of how to use it in the syntax but i don't know how to use it use it so i'm going to spend the rest of this month and november to learn how to use css Everyone always talks about healing your inner child and one way I started doing that recently was playing Pop Tropica or Pop Tropica, whatever you want to say. Playing this game made me realize how fun it was to play as a kid. Because Flash was discontinued during COVID during 2020, a lot of the OG worlds that they made didn't exist anymore. But what I did was I did a lot of research and I found out that you can manually download Flashpoint and play Pop Tropica and a lot of other games that have discontinued and 
it's making me want to buy a nintendo switch i'm not gonna lie i've never really considered myself a video game type of person but playing pop tropica made me realize like okay instead of reading and you know crochet and other hobbies i have let me try to do video games on top of that because i love how i can just like play and not think for once in my life and just truly enjoy the game This is me editing my YouTube thumbnail for this video and I'm just showing you a very quick walkthrough of how it goes. I normally do it on Canva and I do pay the monthly subscription because there's a lot of benefits to using Canva. My crochet project is making a brown vest similar to this one and I'm following a tutorial by this YouTuber and I'm using like the new stitches that she teaches in her video. One of them is the Elizabeth stitch and it's my favorite stitch now but fingers crossed that I can finish it at least by the end of November. If you don't want to hear any spoilers, skip to this part of the video. Alice in Hightower is justifiably the most hated character in the show, but what really makes her so hateable is her hypocrisy. I just really can't stand the fact that she is always coming after Rhaenyra for not following her duty, not doing what she's supposed to do, having an affair outside of her marriage. Like, she's always constantly throwing it back in her face that her kids are not biologically Valerian and that they are Lord Harwin Strong's kids. But what really bothers me is how she literally shows her feet to what's his face and She's just done a lot of things. Lord Strong and his dad were like deleted inside the building, if you get what I mean. Her eldest son is a you know what, like he is a really nasty person that hurts women. There's just so much going on in her family and there's so much hypocrisy left and right that it just truly disgusts me that she acts like she is such a morally superior person. A lot of times, if I want to read a book or if it's in my TBR, instead of waiting until I have money to just buy the book directly, I like going to the store, seeing the cover, reading the first few chapters, and one book I really wanted to read was called The Artist's Way. 
I literally stood there for like almost an hour and I immediately read like a third of the book and I really really liked it. If there's no money to buy the book or there's no money to buy the ebook, what I like to do is go to Z Library and it is a website that has free ebooks for users to download and I normally download PDFs of books that I want to read. Anyways, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and being very patient with me. I'm really happy to see the amount of people growing every single day whenever I go to my YouTube studio app. I really hope you like my editing for this video. I really underestimated how much work it took to edit videos, but thank you everyone and I'll see you soon. Bye.